Hello everybody! In this video, I'm going to tell you how to unlock Smart Hub in Samsung TVs. At the moment, this guide is the only solution for this problem that is known to be effective. This video will be useful for all the people who suffered from the recent Smart TV locking by Samsung on the 22nd January and the 4th February this year. So, let's begin! Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you'll be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. If you bought a TV from the so-called grey market, you may face the problem of its smart hub getting locked, which makes all of its apps no longer available for use. On the screen, you will see the words uh, this TV is not fully functional in this region. To fix the problem, you need to enter the service menu. And in order to get there, you should have a special service remote control or a smartphone with an infrared port and a special app. On the remote control, press Info – Factory. As to the smartphone, go to Play Store, find and download the application named RCOID Free. Find the link in the description. Start the app and in the lower left corner here, click on the three dots and select Download RCOID File. Now look for the remote control for a Samsung TV. What you need is the service remote control and you can find it at the bottom of the list. It is dated as 2008 app. Before you start configuring the settings, stop to unplug the network cable from your TV, if this is how the television is connected to the router. Turn the TV off if it's on and turn it on from your phone, pressing the red power button. Now go on to press the buttons Info and Factory. It opens the service menu. When you are there, you can start using the standard remote control that came supplied with your TV. The only purpose of using the RCOE tab was to get into the service menu. If you have a full-featured remote control, you can try getting into the service menu using this device, and you can do it by slowly pressing the following sequence of buttons. Mute, 1, 1, 9, Enter. Wait for the service menu to appear on the screen. Then press 1, 2, 3, 4 for the full menu to show up. This trick only works with some TV models. Now you should be very attentive and follow the prescribed steps most carefully, unless you want to break your TV. Open Options – Local Set Set the following localization – EU RSAFR. Go down to find the line MRT option and open it. Navigate to Language Set and press Enter. Press the right button until you see CIS. Press Return. Now move to Region and make sure you select Pan Euro. For PNP language, set the language you prefer and Wi-Fi region as Q. Now the setup is complete. Move to Factory Reset and press Enter. Now press Enter one more time. Wait for the TV to shut down. Now you need to change the IP address and, for that matter, you need a laptop or a desktop computer with a Wi-Fi model. Connect the computer to the router with an Ethernet cable, so that it will have an Internet connection from the cable and not from Wi-Fi. Wait until the connection icon changes into the cable connection. Now there are two apps you should download. Connectify and Hide Me VPN. Instead of Hide Me VPN, you can use any other VPN client you like. Install Connectify and agree to restart. Download, install, and start Hide Me VPN. Choose the trial version. Change location to Germany, for example, and click to get connected. Open Connectify again. Click Internet to Share settings and select Hide Me Adapter.
set network access to rooted mode. Give the hotspot name and password. Click to start the hotspot. Connect to the hotspot, for example from your smartphone, and check if the region has changed. For that purpose, use one of the services QWERTY.NET or 2IP. It says the region is Germany, so it's OK. Now turn on the TV, select your language and press the right button. Click Next until you are suggested to select wireless connection. Select your hotspot and enter the password. In the next window with the confidentiality policy, press the following buttons on the remote control. Fast forward, 289, rewind. At this stage, you can also use a different button sequence. Mute, volume up, channel up, mute. Select your smart hub. The confidentiality screen appears again. Select all checkboxes and press OK. Now sign in to your account. Click to create or sign in if you already have one. Finish at the TV setup. After all these manipulations, Samsung Smart Hub should become active again. Now you can turn off the hotspot and connect the TV by Wi-Fi or by network cable. And that is all for now. I hope this video helped you to fix the problem. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell button to receive notifications and never miss new videos. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck.